And welcome to this exciting TV program, Know Your Roots. And I'm your host, Atiang Laura. Now, on our journey of knowing who we are, today we are looking at the traditional religion of the Baganda people. Now, most of us who have gone through Ugandan schools remember the story of Chintu and Nambi. Well, I hope you do. Now, just for a recap, Chintu was the first Muganda upon the surface of the earth, and he had his one cow. Then there was Gulu, who lived in heaven with his children, namely Nambi, Kayikuzi, and Walumbe. Occasionally, Nambi loved to come down to earth to play, and that is where she saw this handsome dude, Chintu, eh? and she decided to talk to him and convince him to go with her to her father to seek for a marriage blessing, which Chintu did. Well, they got the blessing, but the father warned them not to return to heaven because Walumbe would follow them down, and that wasn't a nice thing, according to the legend. On their way back to earth, Nambi remembered she had forgotten the millet for her chicken. Huh? So she decided to go back to heaven to pick, despite the fact that she had dissuaded her. She insisted and went back to pick the millet, and that is where she met Walumbe who asked her where she was going, you know? And at the end of it all, he forcefully followed her to earth. And that was the birth of disaster, according to the legend that has been taught to us. But this is not just a story. Well, behind me right here is the entrance to the home of Chintu and Nambi. But the cameras were not allowed inside, so we've decided to shoot from outside. And then later on, we are going to take you to the actual portals where Kaikuzi and Walumbe were busy fighting when Kaikuzi had come to pick up Walumbe and take him back to heaven. Well, stay tuned. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama. The Baganda believed in a spirit world beyond what they could see and they divided the spiritual realm into four main parts. And at the very top, they had Katonda, that is Gulu, the Gulu that you hear about. And he was believed to be a very great God, but never intervened so much in human affairs unless asked by other spirits, which they always went through. And his priests came from the Njovu clan, the elephant clan that we hear about among the Baganda. Now his shrine is in Bukale Chagwe, that is where you'll find a shrine. Now at the second level, we have the Luvale. These were human beings like us who showed great prowess while still alive. And their spirits were venerated after death and expected to intervene when asked to. They can intervene in state matters or any other matters that the Bazuko would bring before them. Now the priests, their shrines are headed by priests or priestesses called Mandwa. Now at the third level, the third level we have the Mizimu, like here that someone has died and their spirit has left their body. That is now Muzimu, like here someone would say, Naloso Muzimu Gwajaja. That is another level of a spiritual realm for the Baganda. At the fourth level, we have the Misambwa. These are very benevolent but very vicious spirits if not appeased when they need something. Now that we understand the spiritual levels at which the Baganda put the spirits, now let's go inside Tanda and find out where Walumbe originated from, where he dug his portals, and where Kaikuzi is and the rest of the spirits in a bit. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama. Now right here where I'm standing is Tanda Archaeological Site Entrance, as you can see. And this is the main shrine of Jajaburamu Walombe. Now here you do not call him the angel of death, he's actually the angel of life. And this is where the birth of the legend of Walombe was. And this is the place where we are going to find out all the details about the deity of the Baganda people. 
Now I'm standing at the portal of Jajabulamu. Like I told you, Jajabulamu is Walumbe. They don't call him the angel of death here at Tanda. Now when he comes to you in a dream, he gives you a bad dream. He gives you a very bad dream. Now these are the spears you're supposed to carry when you're coming to appease him. There's a spear that is in this shape. It is like this, which means this, this shows if you count the heads on these spears, they are five, meaning he is calling you to come and appease him and set everything right with him. Now, when he lets you go, this is a spear that you carry. It also has five fingers. It's like this, meaning that he has let go of whatever he was holding. He may, because when you're not in good terms with him, your business will go bad. Your family may go bad. You may get diseases in your home, whatever problem that may come your way. So when he lets go, this is how he does it. So this spear is symbolic of when he has let go, and this is symbolic when he is calling you to come and appease him. But let me Sakalibala Bosco explain to us the whole detail in depth as it's supposed to be done. Kakati we tutu sewe vaite wa msajja mukuru, jaja fe kabaka pulam, jaja fe siwa mala, jaja fe chitaka cha nawansi. Ngira msajja mukuru ni chimi sa jaja fe kabaka pulam, ye kabaka we misambwa jona, monsio na. Kubesa wa yoru aliro bo gama anti, olia gama anti achi wakana. Yeja feka waka vula mbu ufo muganda wa gamba walumbi yako zechi. Yeja mulidi. Ateno muzungu wa mumerika wa faba ga walumbi ya mweko zechi. No mu china wa faba ga walumbi ya mulidi. Chitegeza omusajonu ya talaga ensiyo na. Fena chitegeza ya kolachi. Yeka waka wa emisambwa jona. Elanga msajja mkulu yeja feka waka vula mbu. Ebisele ebisinga. Aine manja java anjamu. Nga ye. Elanga yeja feka waka vula mbu wabaku vanja. If you say that you sing, I never go to a bientisa, biakozesa, or kugeza. Nga baba na dalanga abanjo mukazi, asobolo kukuba njanga umuntu ofuno umuntu aja na kozesa, umusajja, oba ngori musajja nga ngoba mukazi noro tango guambinya. Odukira mubi katavi alu mundu sura muba fo guamunta na bintu ebi nti solo taga solo solo. Jaja feka baka bula mu atiro kuvanga ya kolachi. Ebi sele ebi singa bogenda kumesa unga gama nti uli kichi tambo. Ochulia kati sote chiba chitambo. Jaja feka baka bula mu aba kuvanga zamu chitundu chavo tamanya omotegeere. Alioka kolachi ngomesa wagale tembu zinziru gavunga nume olete norugo yorudu gavu. Kole iti na mafta tukwate chitamba isho tukolechi, tuchoche. Katimubula mburu kufubwe chintu echo, togula mbuzi nziru gavu na chigundi ngo tegedi. Musajja mkulu bambu wikarubu goru dugavu. Okuvanti omukaliza okumuja kuchiri echimu yise chitambo. Obo kujanga kulete revidote vientisa. Obo kubanga ja akozesa. Bambu lete lorubu goru noru dugavu. Nebambu wikako uro kumalawe chiziki zecho chenjini echivade chikolachi. Echiva deo. Ela jeja feka waka vula mwogo. Tetuko mwogo. Ntitumu sinzanga jeja feka waka vula mwogo. Kubaka waka vula mwogo. Aya galanga na uomulia mele okolachi. Uoli. Tuongeleza ako urubugoru miofu. Lechitu viki so urubugoru no urumiofu. Tulu vika kuruwe mizimu jie chikacho. Nti omuzimu gwe gumanyi nichi. Gwe gumanyi ni rubale. Wano mubuganda omuntu wafaba mzinga murubugoru miofu. Ate ila nekunko meredi. Nga bamu zitela kwa musika Ila echifundi kwa chivachi alugoruchi Lumiofu Katiche chitu vikisa Mubwe mizimu jie chikacho Okuvante omuzimu gwe gumanyi ni rubale Wotali Jajja kabaka vula muta ina guagenda kolachi Guagenda kuata Aina kuata gwe Na alioka kolachi Avela u Ila po tubi malo kubiki orubugoru no lumiofu Tuangere zako orubugoru no lueru Oruo kukaliza emi samba jona Jaja feka waka vula mu okumuka kanya Ovo okumute okutereza Oruenda chichichi avadava nje mbuzi Jivava diva nsabi Na viku orubu goruchi Orudu gavu Echi chilo tevientisa neviku lachi Neviku wawo Nembiku mbwe mizi mje chikacha Kuvana gugu vagu ino kufanja Mpewe veko lachi Gufuwa No kaliza no orubu goruchi Oruo kufanti lue lue lula we vizivyo na Iva demuchi Mumiri mujo mkufuno wa mbiznesi zo No kolachi Elanga mbugo zino Zita ambula bwezi Ojasanga Fumulino 
nti jaja feka baka bula mu nebo ba mu nsi chi guenga wete na ndigo ganzi sima hivi ya wajaja anga ya wada kubanja eh? linefu munga bula ya bali angalo tano dielimu kudia kuzisa o kukuko ula munga bula ba nti njaga lo ito omundu ilanga tuongeleza kongo simba ngo mazo kubika efumu linu elia sewamala lita ambula noru bugolutia oruweru eh? jaja feka baka bula mu okumala we vizibu yona Hmm? Mubase wa mala obu waba jaja fe. Tuku ataganyi. Ilanga tetuko mogu. Omutu okujo kubike ngo yezinu. Hmm? Tazibika luabu sobozi. Luisi chinzi kukuchisobu kukuja. Mubwe mawanga na oga ntinze ndi muna nkore. Mbise mbikafe ya china nkore. Na era mkatundu kali. Nti jaja fe kabaka bula muta ya ula mawanga. Chisobu lukuda. Nobiko uluchi. Urubu go. Hmm? Ata uli uli se uli uli zino buba kuba kuba taina busobo zibugulachi mbugo zino. Ye jaja feka waka bula mu, jaja feka waka bula munu, bamu gabula amaruwa. Gwe muenge guanywa. Muma yolo uza luachi bamu gabula amaruwa. E, bamu gabula amaruwa, nti jaja feka waka bula mu. Ngabula ba insakenu. Eh? Gwe muenge gwe ugwa kalo guanywa. Eh? Nti kari kalo. Akamuleta juki la nambi eh? Yadda ewa chita awe guru Anonaka chi obulobu nko kozi Jaja feka waka bula mu Oba mugumu ita walu mbenga amosi Gana mga mwanyi na tonde katu dafe na kuchi Kunsi Jaja feka waka bula mu kwe kujani mwanyi nani Nambi Eda chovula banti Ia nywa mwenge guwa kalonti kari kala akamu kola chi Akamuleta na uino kaza kuru bedi bedi Noja no sabida kebibyo Jaja feka waka bula muna akolachi, na kuuliriza, na uga bula koku maru wago. Nega wanga, gei maru wandiza aga sobulu kuwa nila monsonga zobo okolachi, osabie. This is the fireplace where some offerings or medicine is burnt in a bit of chasing away bad luck. For instance, if someone drops medicine in the fire, the smoke that comes from the fire is believed to be the one that carries away the person's problems and clears the way of success for them. This is the main place where Walumbe settles. This is his shield. These are his spears, and these are his calabashes. Ngabo tutu se mu zimbe jija feka baka bula mu bano beba na abalongo aba abo monsozi abana ba jija feka baka bula mu ba be misamba ngabo la ba tutu se chiri chibocha abo ba te kamu amakula nga beba longa aba wunde. Abo mwishwezi wa msa jemu kuru jeje feka waka bula mu. Iranga haba anabano. Siwe iba zari. Nga bo ganti na zari haba anabarongo. Nembaleta muno. Haba anabano. Balo tebu wa bulo tebu wa. Owa avantu haba wele kumi okubanti. Batu usi wa okubeira wanu mumbu geno. Ira haba anabano baba jinja kalori. Kati jeje feka waka bula mu. Gano chechi bochi haba anabe. Abo echama kulage. Doza makulo ugalaba boja wano ngoze kusaba boji ingida wano Tue ya njula kumbana bano neku miziba bidi Ngoze kusaba katibu marizo kusaba mnunga Ndozo laba mulimwe nsimbi na matembe Mulimwe mwanyi Nge labo nagenti bajaja febako zisanga nsimbi ngandu ukufa kuchi Kuluveri veri okuve dane da bajaja febako zisanga zino zesente zibako lachi Ziva kwa zisanga. Wabula zine mpia zizebuchi. Buzi zino katichovula wa okwata sente zino. Ngoze kusaba. No koloti. No kuatila kwa ni mwanyi. No zikuata boti. Ngoze kusaba no kolachi. No sabila kebibyo. Evie nsonga ziba zikolechi. Zikulesi. Well, foodstuff is also offered to walumbe like cassava and local banana beer. Whoever is praying kneels here and taps his head on this pole nine times. And then he asks for what he or she needs from Walumbe. By the way, the Baganda Atanda call Walumbe Jajabulamu, literally meaning the king of life. Now from the legend of Chintuan Nambi, remember Gulu had children with him. Now one of them was Kaikuzi. Kaikuzi was the brother of Walumbe. He came down to us to pick Walumbe and take him back to heaven. But Walumbe did not want to come along with him. So when a dream comes to you, when Jaja Kaikuzi wants something from you, or he wants you to come and appease him, 
you always have to come with this spear. His spear is differently shaped from the one of Walumbe. It looks like this. Now this spear, there are still also five fingers. It's also symbolic of the fact that he was, uh, when he was chasing uh, Walumbe, wanting to take him back to heaven. Remember, Walumbe was digging holes to hide from him. Now this that you see here is a caption, is um, symbolic of when he was trying to grab onto Walumbe to take him back to heaven. So this is the kind of spear you bring if it is Kaikuzi who gave you the dream. Because what happens is when you get the dream, you come to the main priest, or the person they call Omusao. You speak to him and then he lets you know which of the gods needs you to appease him. Kati wano wetuli, wa msajja mkulu jaja feka yikuzi, jaja feka yikuzon, muganda wa msajja mkulu jaja feka waka bulamu. Iranga jaja feka yikuzi, dinolie fumulie uwe ntabazui, jata baza. Ntiechia kuzisa fumulie nobuwe liti, nti jaja ka yikuzi, mbuwabanga ajaku mtuwe. Eh? Asi, Engaloze ziba zikola bweziti chovola ba nifumuli ya libali ya kola chini ili ya kula bweziti yajaja feka yikuzi msajja maganda msajja mukuru yajaja feka ba kavola mu kwa ba mu gumu mani inga walumbe na inga fetu mu ita yajaja feka ba kavola mu kwa ba tu mani ya tuwa kavola mu ne mirembe. This is where the spirit of Jaja Mwanga resides, and he was and is still a royal ancestor. He is the Prime Minister, what the Baganda call Katikiro of all spirits in the spiritual realm because Walumbe was and is still believed by traditional Baganda to be the king of all the spirits. This ancestor uses things that are of two heads, be it pots, spears or windpipes. With Jaja Mwanga, a traditional Mankala game or Mweso is used when evoking him to foretell a situation. It was made clear that this ancestor loved his local banana beer. That's why you see calabashes here used to serve him alcohol. Edda bajejafe bako zisanga nga tuzino nga je mikalabanda zenga tuza jejafe muwanga za kuzisanga agendo kula oba za kula chi za tambulira mu E mikalabanda zenga tuza haba jajafi, haba soka wabida. Eh? Ila nisa wawaru jajafi muwanga za kolachi, za chako zisa. Ila nga jajafi muwango unu, inu yembuga ye, eri nsu wa ye, e yamazi, wanu yembuga ye muwanga kolachi, mwaja na asaba, e zondeku, awamu ne, ne amafumuge. This is the ancestor that the traditional Muslim Baganda ascribed to, Jaja Ndaula. When he demands for an offering, he requires fruits and sometimes honey or local banana beer. For the local brew, Mwengebigere, from the time the bananas called Mbide are cut, they are hung to ripen. The one who hangs them lays down on a bed that he has never shared with a woman until the local brew is squeezed out of these bananas. Then it would be served to Judge Jandaula. These are his spears. As you can see, there is ghee on all his items. Reason is, the Baganda believed this spirit infests people with jiggers and body rash. This is one of his calabashes where the local brew is put and it literally has rushes, which is symbolic. But the Baganda believed if you give this spirit what it needs, it comes down. For instance, fruits like jackfruit, avocado, and pineapples are used. The reason why pineapples were offered was to ask this ancestor to give them multiple eyes like those on a pineapple for them to see everything that befalls them. Some offer oranges to ask this ancestor to help them not to be belittled or forced to do anything by a wife, husband or boss at work or kuchungiwa. Passion fruits obutunda is offered to this ancestor by people so that their names can sell or business items, what they call okutunda. Sugarcane is also offered so that one can climb levels in life, just like you see the segments on the sugarcane. All this a symbolism of what one needed or needs from the ancestor. 
Aujeja fenda ula tajia kuru miamvunza, tajia kukubia biturututu. Ilanga chovula babasi gomu zigo gunga gwe mugonze. Da wetu alo, jaja femilembe jawe balu alange mvunza. Bako zisanga vizigo, eh? okubanti pati mvunze hizo. Kati wano mzigo ugo yempewezo okubanti okolachi. Later wajaja andaula. Well, next time, we are going to bring you more on the traditional beliefs of the Baganda. Please stay tuned. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama.